Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate pKa from pKb and vice versa. In the first part of this problem, you're told that the pKa of formic acid is 3.74, and you're asked to calculate the pKb for its conjugate base. The pKa value is describing the acid dissociation where formic acid donates a proton to water. So you'd have formic acid plus water giving you a hydronium ion plus the conjugate base of formic acid, which is HCO2 minus. The Ka expression for this equation is the concentration of hydronium ion multiplied by the concentration of HCO2 minus divided by the concentration of formic acid. And you'd find the pKa using this Ka with the simple equation pKa is equal to the negative log of the Ka value. And this problem is asking you to find the pKb value for the reverse of this reaction, where the conjugate base of formic acid, the HCO2 minus, accepts a proton from the hydronium ion. So the products become the reactants, and the reactants become the products. And the Kb would be derived by taking the concentration of formic acid and dividing that by the concentration of the conjugate base of formic acid times the hydronium ion concentration. So the important relationship you need to know for this problem, if you want to go directly from pKa to pKb, because you could also find pKb as the negative log of Kb, the relationship you should know is that pKb is equal to 14.00 minus pKa. So all you need to do in this case is subtract from 14.00 the 3.74 value that you're given for the pKa of formic acid, and you'll be left with 10.26 as the pKb. So that's the first part of the problem. For the second part of the problem, you're given that the pKb for hydrazine is 6.05, and you're asked to calculate the pKa for its conjugate acid. So the Kb expression for this problem is describing the base dissociation reaction, where hydrazine, as a base, accepts a proton from water to yield the conjugate acid of the hydrazine base plus a hydroxide ion. And this is described by the Kb expression of the conjugate base, I'm sorry, the conjugate acid concentration multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide ions divided by the concentration of hydrazine. The problem is asking you to find the pKa for the reverse of this reaction, where the conjugate base of hydrazine donates a proton to the hydroxide ion to yield water and hydrazine. So this would be the reverse of the reaction I've already written. We have a conjugate base of hydrazine plus hydroxide going to hydrazine plus water. So all you need to do, know for this, for this problem to go directly from pKb to pKa is that pKa is equal to 14.00 minus pKb. So you're subtracting from the 14.00 the 6.05 pKb 
value that you're given as part of this problem. And when you do the math, you find that pKa equals 7.95.